Good morning. We're going to cover some uh, quick topics in Fusion 360 this morning, and those are going to be importing to a canvas. Uh, we're going to do form tools, and then we're going to export to uh, STL as well. Um, so let's jump right in. I thought uh, here at the Adapt Shop we've got some kind of funky uh, router bits that we'll use in our CNC router every now and then. Uh, we've also got just some mill tools that are, are not found in the um, in the tool library and so the easiest way to make those would, would be with the form tool um, and I thought a cool form tool would be doing like this whole vase face uh, profile and then we could sweep that around the perimeter and also uh, dive through the material so without further ado let's get started with that I'm just going to uh, save this image Perfect, it's a JPEG. So we'll come back into Fusion 360. Uh, we're going to insert, uh, going to attach canvas. Let's put it on um, this front face. Downloads. Okay, so we're just going to leave it right there for now. Um, it's actually uh, kind of mirrored it, but that's all right. Um, go OK. And now what I want to do is go over here on my um, browser panel. And I'm going to toggle down the canvases. I'm going to right click on face, face, and I calibrate it. And what I want to do is go from there to there. And right now it's half inch. Um, I want to make that, let's go with, um, 0.485. Let's actually go 0.48. And now we can create a sketch on that same face. Just go line, um, come up to there, over. Points here. Yeah, no. Just dragging out to get make some arcs. too many points but that's okay we will make do let's pull this one out so what we're doing is we're creating half the profile so I gotta come back in and clean some of these up. Uh, one trick if you're ever doing a whole lot of um, segments in a sketch, one thing I highly, highly recommend is just going through, actually let's do this this way. Um, click to the right and then drag left. those ones selected I'm just gonna go ahead and fix those in place because I like where those ones are and that should allow me to easier <laughs> that one to stay there fix that in place that point fix Just need to delete that. Back to my line tool. That's better. And that 
That looks pretty good. So you just actually grab and fix all of that. And we can turn off our canvases. Um, stop our sketch. And we've got a pretty good uh, representation of half of that. So uh, the way to go ahead and save this, we'll just call it uh, face vase form. To create the form tool, you got to jump into the cam environment under manage form mill. Ask you for your tool profile. So we're just going to click on that. Tool axis. It's going to be what it rotates around. And then we just want to point uh, down into the material. So uh, compensation point. You go right there. And we'll go OK. So if you don't notice anything happening, jump up into the tool library under form mill. Uh, we flipped it. Let's fix that. Let's go back to manage. That's correct. Profile tool axis. You want it to point in the correct. So the arrow should point to your Z positive on your mill. Okay. Back into the tool library. Now that one looks better. We just copy that, go over to our birch, paste it here, and then we can make any changes we need in here. Let's just call this face face. Close our tool library and save that. OK. Open up a new design. Uh, we're just going to sketch out a box. We're going to put it on the ground plane. S for shortcut. This guy for center point rectangle. Let's just go 12 by 12. Got a rectangle E for extrude. We're going to extrude this face. We know that our birch is 0.485. There we go. We've got our panel. Now what I want to do is also create a new sketch on this face. Um, let's do, I don't know, let's go let's do a line. Just gonna go across here. And there. And then we'll Curve that guy in a little. Something like that. Stop sketch. Now we're going to jump it back into our cam environment. Uh, we're going to do a setup. It's got our stock. That's fine for X, Y, and 0. OK. We're going to do a 2D contour. Our tool, we're going to select. Since we got face face open, we can do it through there. But in our cloud library, we've got that tool. Um, geometry, let's start with doing the bottom. Minimum cutting radius in computer. Let's go uh, point one to five. Interesting. So maybe I let's look here. Um, <laughs> If offset is negative, I think that's what it's giving me issues on. Let's 
go 0.15. I think that's going to make it wonky, but let's try it anyways. Birch. Okay. He did it, so let's go ahead and simulate this guy. I'm going to turn off my component, show my stock, do a tail, and run it. Close that, my linking, turn off my lead in, turn off my ramp. Okay, try that again. Let's make sure our heights are right. Stock bottom's good. Okay. Let's simulate that now. If we look at our front, it's pretty cool. Um, all we had to do here to get rid of that top lip is go back to model, that extrude. Remember, we made our tooltip 0.4480. 0 .480. And then if we go back to cam, Control G on the Windows for regenerating. Simulate. Jump to the end here. Why did it do that? Let's check R. Oh, that's, of course. Um, passes, or our heights rather. We went past stock bottom. So let's just go to stock bottom. OK. Simulate, turn off, front, there you go. It's got that vase, uh, face look to it. But then I also want to uh, close. Let me go ahead and um, let us let's edit. I do want to do a lead in, lead out, just so it's not digging into the material. Perpendicular's fine, lead out's the same, okay. To duplicate this, and here, I'm going to change my contours to be these three segments. Okay. Let's simulate this. Let's show the log just to, yeah. Didn't think it was going to be a big deal. Now I'll simulate. I run it. Plunge in. Let's turn off our model. Close that. We're gonna have to go back and make that just a little smaller even. Let's go 0.39, no, 0.47. Go back to cam. Click your setup, control G, regenerate some wall. Simulate, skip to the end. There we go. Um, I don't know why, but I just thought that would be a cool idea. So that's cutting through. Good to go there. I uh, will close that. Actually, let's do the trick of simulate them all. Jump to the end. And now what we'll do is right click on the stock. Down to stock, save stock, and put it on the desktop. Okay, save it. 
and this won't work exactly right but let's go ahead and open it up in uh, this Kira Open a file, desktop, stock. Let's go scale. Let's see if 45 will fit. And there you go, you can 3D print this slab. That's got the face vase profile in it, if you really wanted to. And it'll only take you four hours. So there you have it. Um, that's kind of, from a Fusion 360 standpoint, um, that's a workflow I've used before for several projects. Um, you know, importing a canvas, um, calibrating it's a, a useful tool right click on the, the canvas and you can calibrate you choose a couple points and then tell it how big it should be and it'll auto calibrate uh, and then sketching on top of that using the form tool form tool to make a form mill um, then just using that mill both on a profile and also on a sketch line to generate a stock which I then exported as an STL and you could 3D print. So lots of tips there. Hope that helps you out with your projects and have a great day.